Hey everyone, in today's lesson what I want to talk about is uh, different hitting zones and when to be offensive and when to be defensive in doubles. So uh, this is a uh, video by um, Jorge Capistani. Uh, he's got a good website and um, some really good lessons uh, and, and he's just an overall good coach, has a great YouTube channel, so definitely check it out. But I watched this, I'm on his email list and he sent this out to me earlier today. And I watched this video, and it was a really good way to break down uh, the level of power you should be hitting with. Um, it seems to be mostly focused on singles, and it had me um, thinking about the, a similar topic in doubles. So I wanted to talk to you about that today. Um, what I came up with is I created this kind of hitting zone here, and uh, what this is going to indicate is when you should be more offensive and when you should be more defensive in doubles. So one mistake I see a lot of players make is they go for too much and they miss um, in doubles. And forcing an error I, I've talked about before is the best way to end a point. Um, hitting winners is going to happen a lot less often than the point ending in an error. So we really want to be focused on forcing errors uh, from the other team. Now, with that in mind, uh, we want to be looking at these different zones to decide how aggressive we want to be. And um, we want to look at these zones. And then the other thing we want to look at is, is how high the ball is. So um, I'll talk about that as I go through this. So um, watch Jorge's video and then uh, come back to this. And this will make a little bit of sense to you. But um, in the back here, I've got this red zone. So the red zone means that we're going to be a little bit more defensive. We're not going to go for a whole lot. Um, we're not going to be trying to hit a, a down-the-line winner from way back here. Um, you know, depending on your skill level, it might be the red zone might be further back for you or it might be a little closer for you. Um, and typically, we're hitting more defensive or kind of neutral shots back here. Um, you know, it, keep in mind, uh, again, the height of the ball. So if the ball's sitting up high and you've got plenty of time to get to it, uh, you can probably um, be a little bit more aggressive versus if you're hitting a ball on the run and you're way out wide, maybe down here somewhere, uh, you're going to have to perhaps throw up a lob or, or slice the ball back um, cross court, something like that. Uh, this yellow zone is kind of a neutral zone. So we're not going... Um, to be going for a lot here, but we're going to be looking to place the ball really well and uh, kind of set up our next shot. So, you know, if I'm the back person here and I have a ball in this yellow zone, uh, I'm probably going to try to take it over this middle net strap towards the center of the court, make this player hit a backhand, um, which will allow my partner here to get involved. Now, this dark green zone we can be more aggressive. Now, even from here, we're still not trying to go for the winner, but we're trying to set up the next shot or force an error. So if I have a short ball here, um, whether it's a forehand ground stroke or a volley, uh, what I'm gonna do with that is either take it deep cross court um, to, to this back person, try to get them pushed back on their heels and then follow it into the net. Um, and that way we can close out the point that way or make them feel some pressure and force an error. Uh, or maybe I'll go down the line at this player's backhand volley if they're the better person to pick on. Uh, maybe I'll dip one kind of at their feet. Again, I'm not going to be going for the all-out winner most of the time from this area. Um, I'm really trying to force an error or set up the next shot. Uh, and then this light green area is where uh, we are going for more of that winner, right? We're going to, um, you know, it might be an overhead or a really short high volley that we can smash. Um, now, again, the caveat here is how high or low the ball is, right? If somebody is dipping a ball at our feet and we're this net player, we're not going to be super aggressive, right? So we're probably going to be playing a more defensive shot. But um, follow these colors for, you know, any kind of neutral ball at your maybe hip height or higher. Um, and then at the net, you know, if, if you have those balls kind of down around your knees or around your feet, focus on getting it to that back player uh, with some depth to, to try to set up that next ball. Um, so 
Let me know if uh, you have any questions on this. Uh, I hope this helps you kind of decide when you should go for more and when you should uh, kind of hold back and maybe try to set up that next shot. So um, if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you next week.